welcome to a lesson that will introduce the altitudes of a triangle. The goals are to define an altitude of a triangle and define the orthocenter. The altitude is a line segment from a vertex that is perpendicular to the opposite side. So this red segment is an altitude because it connects a vertex to the opposite side here and it's perpendicular to that side. A triangle has three altitudes one from each vertex to the opposite side and the intersection of the three altitudes or the point of concurrency is called the orthocenter. So here we see a triangle with its three altitudes constructed and this point of concurrency or this point of intersection here is the orthocenter. And based upon the type of triangle the orthocenter can be inside, on, or outside the triangle. Let's take a look at each case. Here, just as on the previous screen, each of the altitudes intersect inside the triangle. This is true when we have an acute triangle, where all the angles are less than 90 degrees. Now, if we have a right triangle, the intersection of the three altitudes would be on the triangle. This is a right triangle because this angle here is a right angle. So if we construct the altitude from this vertex to the opposite side, it would actually be this side of the triangle. And the same thing would be true if we constructed the altitude from this vertex to the opposite side. It would be this side of the right triangle. The only altitude that is not one of the legs of the right triangle would be the altitude from this vertex here connected to the hypotenuse. But the orthocenter, or point of concurrency for a right triangle, will always be on the right triangle. And the last case is if we have an obtuse triangle, where one of the angles is between 90 and 180 degrees, as we see here, the intersection of the altitudes will be outside the triangle. One more thing to notice about the altitudes of an obtuse triangle, if we select this vertex and want to construct the altitude to the opposite side, we will have to extend the opposite side as we see here in green. So the altitude forms a right angle with the opposite side here with the extension of that side. And the same thing is true for the altitude from this vertex to the extension of the opposite side here. And then here's the third altitude. And again, notice we do have to extend the altitude past the vertex in order to identify the point of concurrency or the orthocenter. Let's take a look at an animation of this. Again, here we see an acute triangle where the intersection of the altitudes is inside the triangle. And as long as the triangle is an acute triangle, the intersection will always be inside the triangle. However, if the triangle is a right triangle, as we see here, notice how the orthocenter is on the triangle. And then if we have an obtuse triangle, notice how the orthocenter moves outside the triangle. That's going to do it for this video. We'll take a look at constructing an altitude in the next video. I hope you found this helpful.